introducing Dr. Jacqueline in damages, damage more, 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 fire, and they see pepper. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City. Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that a thief stole a bucket of gold flecks from an armored truck in broad daylight. What? Oh, yeah, it happened. The truck was left unattended for 20 seconds. That's in New York, 20 seconds is, is eternity. <laughs> now, a guard was making a delivery, and the second guard went to grab his phone from the front seat, wow. and the thief struck. That was it. Wow. Watch. I know. He carried the bucket containing $1.6 million of gold flecks wow. along the streets of New York City. Oh, yeah. Every few miles, the man would stop and gather his breath. It was heavy, you know. Mm. Now, the report says that the man is now somewhere in Florida. I'm wondering, <laughs> did he carry it all the way to Florida? How did that happen? Now, you may ask, where was the New York police, police department? Where, where were they? Why, when this was going on? <laughs> well, 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 well. They, were they, people were asking me, were they getting Trump and his new uh, mad dog, the, the defense secretary? What were they doing that they missed this man carrying this AV? <laughs> I love <laughs> No, 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 no. This, this happened in September, okay. long before Trump became president elect. Oh, okay, okay. That was long ago. Now, the world has changed so much mm. that a lot of things that happened before Trump became president elect pale in comparison to things happening now. Uh, I'm telling you, for example, before Trump became president, the only people who celebrate and dance on the streets when someone dies uh, were Nigerians, the Pakistanis, <laughs> Afghanistanis, and all these third world types. Uh, but that has changed, that has changed. Uh, Americans now dance on the streets when someone dies. What? You think, I'm not, I'm not making it, watch. <laughs> I know, wow. I know. As you know, the leader of the Cuban Revolution, Fidel Castro, passed away last week. Hey, yeah, yeah so sad, so sad. Now, for some of us who live on social media, <laughs> we found out when Donald Trump tweeted this. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Fidel Castro is dead. That's it. Wow. So, so presidential. Now, for the first time, I understood those who are saying, not my president. <laughs> because I was going to deal with this for four years. How, why would that happen? Anyway, <laughs> in all the stories about Castro, the greatest was this. In 1940, before Kipinero was born, 12-year-old Cuban boy Fidel Castro wrote to the US president, Franklin Roosevelt, you know him, to request a $10 note, just $10. Imagine. History would have been a lot different mm. if President Roosevelt had replied Castro, mm. even if he did not send his, the money to him. Mm. It would have been different. To put it in context, $10 in 1940 is like 1 million naira of today. <laughs> yeah, it's like 1 million naira of today. Or, or even, okay, 30 trillion Zimbabwean dollars. Whoa. It was big money. Big money. That's why the president couldn't, it may be the, what they paid the president at that point. With Donald Trump heading to the White House, mm -hmm. an American empire falling down, falling down, falling down. Hey. Oh, he's still coming down. You know, Fidel Castro figured that his job was done. There was no need for him to hang around anymore. You know, Trump will finish up the job of <laughs> ending America. You know, that's, that's what's happening now. Trump will be, just so you know, Trump will be the first American president in almost 50 years mm. that won't have to contend with Nelson Mandela or Fidel Castro. That's true. No, no. I say God saved the world from Trump and his mad dogs mm. and all the rich pirates that he's putting together in his cabinet. Mm. Oh, yeah. Who will dare speak truth to the power anywhere in the world? Who? Mm. Who? Mandela is not there. Castro is not there. Who yeah, yeah, Jame who? of Gambia. <laughs> Did you say yeah, yeah, Jame of Gambia? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, President yeah, Jame is gone, too. What? He's gone. Oh, yeah. What? The man who once vowed to rule for one billion years. What? <laughs> was defeated last week by a real estate mogul. Mm. Is that a coincidence or what, what is going on in this world? Oh, I'm beginning to think that this called uh, so-called um, Trump effect, Trump effect. It's real, it's real. Yeah. African dictators are trying to get out before it's too late yeah. to safely run away and enjoy their loot. Mm. 
or, or to die in the case of Mugabe. <laughs> oh you know, I heard that Mugabe is gone. He's going. He said, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not running again. And the guy in Angola, he's been there for ages. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. So listen to how it happened with Jameh. Mm. President Jameh prepared the election as if he was preparing for a coup. Of course. Oh, yeah. He locked up many of the opposition leaders. Wow. Closed down the borders. What? In Gambia. Yeah, everywhere. You can't enter. Blocked the all international calls. Whoa. And, and then he shut down the internet. Wow. He did everything right from the handbook of how to win re-election, African dictator style. Ooh. He did everything. He followed it. Check, that check, check, check. Night. Everything. Check, check, check. <laughs> and then to cap it up, he asked his people to vote by throwing marble into a bucket. <laughs> Unbelievable. 21st century. And the man said he came to bring Gambia into the new century. Yeah. But he asked him to vote by throwing marble into a bucket. Maybe, maybe that's what Africa should adopt everywhere, Nigeria yeah. too. Now, sworn enemies of uh, Jameer, like uh, Adiola of Keeping It Real, went on attack, screaming, Jameer was about to rig election again and extend his 22-year rule. That's, you, you see her everywhere, screaming on Facebook, on Twitter, everywhere, on her show. <laughs> By a vote of 263,515 hmm. to 212,099, opposition leader Adama Barrow defeated President Jamea. Wow! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. Now, the great surprise was that he considered defeat. Really? Oh, yeah, he said, I'm out of here. Watch him. And I will never cheat or dispute the elections because this is the most transparent rig-proof elections in the whole world. <laughs> now, now, initially I thought, I checked, I had to check. I said, Nigeria's former president, Gulo Jonathan, was he in the Gambia as an election observer? No, he wasn't there. So what happened to the great Jamea? What happened? It's only, you can only hear it on Dr. Damage's show. Let me explain it to you. It wasn't Trump. It wasn't Trump. Sure no, it wasn't. Trump, Trump. Trump doesn't care about buffoons like Jamea. Oh, oh, he, should I say, he doesn't give a hoot about the people of the Gambia. He doesn't even know where Gambia wow. is. What happened was that Jamea's cure for HIV hmm. does not work anymore. Hey, yeah. Oh, it failed, hey, yeah. yeah. And a day before the election, his cure for infertility fell too. What? That was the final straw that broke the camel's back. Hmm. Once a man starts having problems down there, you know, down the West, as it was the case in Nassau Rock and people who were living there. It saps all the man's energy. Mm. Practically, there is nothing else to fight for if the thing doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, Africa is just a continent of many stories. Mm. Now, one common story is that of economic hardship. hardship. Oh, it's everywhere. In Zimbabwe today, when you put your ATM card, you know, your card, to get $40, the machine will only give you $20. What? Yeah, $20. $20. And another 20 of what they call the Zimbabwean bonds. Hey! <laughs> I know, yeah. I know, I know. Zimbabweans call that thing fake money. Yeah, but who will blame them? Who will blame them? You know, the reason why they use the US dollar today in Zimbabwe is because a roll of Zimbabwean dollars at one point became cheaper. <laughs> cheaper than a roll of toilet rolls. Mm. Whoa, instead of deep. instead of if you carry a bucket that of a bucket deep. of this their money to oh, wow. go, use use the money and do clean your thing instead of carrying the bucket to go and buy a roll of toilet roll. I'm just telling you. <laughs> now imagine what the Zimbabwean bonds will be what? Nothing. That's why Africans should look across their borders for solutions. Uh, there are solutions, but you have to look. In Algeria, the Minister of National Solidarity. Family and Women Affairs, Monia Muslim came up with a unique solution, solution. to Algeria's economic problems. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. The, the woman was wonderful, a genius. She suggested that married women should give their pay to Algeria's treasury. What? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> now, yeah, if you're married and you get your pay, just give it to the government. Yeah, and it's a woman. Now, if that leaves you uh, speechless, you're not alone. The woman had, good, she had good reasons. She, she said that married women have husbands to take care of them. What? Yeah, yeah, they have husbands, yeah. <laughs> Immediately that news got to Nigeria. Alakija, you know Alakija, the richest woman. She said, hell no. <laughs> She's not giving her money to the government. Even Magic Fashek's wife said, hell no. The man doesn't earn any money anymore. <laughs> the man doesn't bring any rent anymore. Talking about people saying hell no, uh -huh. 
One week after Amnesty International issued a report condemning Nigerian security forces uh -huh. of killing over 150 peaceful Biafran protesters Genocide. in the last one year. And Abuja High Court denied Nande Kanu bail. Again. Again, yeah. Again, they denied him bail again. Now, other than the usual, <laughs> the court did not give any reason for denying him bail. The judge only pointed at the picture, <laughs> a picture of Buhari hanging over his uh, over his bench. He said he was like. <laughs> now, meanwhile, immediately after the Amnesty International report was issued, uh -huh. Southeastern senators mm. demanded a probe of the killings. What? I know, I know those senators. They are big, Bro. they are big guys. Yeah, they demand. They, imagine, imagine, until Amnesty said there were killings, mm. they did not know. Or, or they did not care. Yeah. Or, or both. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't care. Now they are saying, oh, we want probe. They, the amnesty did the probe for you. Said they killed your people and you, you want probe. What probe are you looking for again? <laughs> now, talking about caring people, former President Olusegun Obasanjo, you guys know him. Yeah. Last week, he blasted the National Assembly. He, yeah, yeah, he said that, and I quote, National Assembly is a den of corruption occupied by unarmed robbers. Yeah. I said, damn. <laughs> ah, damn. What, what, what do you say? What are you saying? That they may not have AK-47, hey. but they surely have pump action. Stop, stop. Yeah, <laughs> they have pump action. Now, the National Assembly wasted no time in replying to Obasanjo. Hey. They are good at that. You know, they can talk. They called Obasanjo the godfather of corruption. There's, there's war. I mean, Obasanjo, Obasanjo has gone back to write another book. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he fights people. He will write another book. Bye -bye. Now, one of the commonest questions I get is why are people losing hope in Buhari's government this early? Mm -hmm. Even, Wole, even Wole Shenka acknowledged that Buhari's shine is wearing off. Sorry. Sorry. Eh? Sorry, Buhari. People who do not believe in Buhari thought that some of the, his ministers will break out and achieve something. That was what they were thinking before mm -hmm. they, you know, they were thinking that. They point at ministers like uh, Power and Works and Housing Minister, mm. Babatunde hey, Fashala. You know him? Yeah. Triple in water. Hey. The, yeah, the Trinity. That's Trinity. the Trinity. That's what he is. Yeah, they thought that he would show example. Mm. Well, well, well. Last, last week, the man gave a speech mm. that settled it all. Really? In the speech, he said, and I quote, Shango, the god of lightning, mm. can produce one kilowatt of electricity. What? Hey. I, Look, look at it. He said that Shango can. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see. You know that a man is finally descending into total collapse mm -hmm. when he takes his frustration on the gods. On the gods? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of him to be harvesting electricity from thunder and lightning. <laughs> or at least from the gas that we flare every day. <laughs> he is dragging Shango into his mess. Shango. He's lucky, he's lucky. Fashala is lucky. You know, Shango is not as angry as he used, as to, he be. used to be. No. When a people retire their gods, mm. the gods, cuckoo say, they chill. They yeah, say, oh, well, they don't care about me anymore. Yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> now, depending on your political bent, mm. some great things happened last week. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of them is that Fidel Castro died. Ha 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 I got I go you, I go you. I almost got you. No, no, really, really. Some, yeah. some great things happened last week. Our Mustafa gave a lecture, you know where, yeah. to Mark Ojuku's bed there. You know our Mustafa, yeah. the one that killed um, Abiola's, uh, Abiola's uh, wife. Oh yeah, he gave a lecture. No, wow. no. Oh yeah, <laughs> Ojuku's widow, Bianca, was there. Yeah. OPC, yeah. OPC leader, uh, Dr. Frederick Fashion, was there. Yeah. Uh -huh. My question is this, who organized this Our Mustafa-led Ojuku lecture, you know where, <laughs> without inviting Two leading Igbo leaders. Abomination. Ayo Fayo She and Ay. Femi Fanikayode. Hey. Who, who did that? You know who this is an insult. It, it made it look as if it was organized by an enemy. Because you can't have Igbo event hey. and you don't have Ayo Fayo She and Femi Fanikayode. Uh, really? They, they, are the, they, are the, they are the great fighters, you know? Mm, that should be that. Now, this one is for our favorite grandma who wanted to see good news on our show. Mm. Grandma, this is for you. A 50 kilogram bag of rice now sells for 8,000 naira in a Boeing state. 
That's great news for Christmas, yeah. It used to be 26,000, now it's 8,000 in a Ebony State. But you have to go to Ebony State. And this came from the Central Bank of Nigeria. They reported this. You see, you see, you see, you see, our great Central Bank is now the new merchant of rice. No merchant of rice, they're selling rice now. Fear, fear recession. It makes us all hustlers. We recession, everybody's a hustler. Central Bank Governor, MFL, Godwin MF, you know, he now carries, carries rice on his head, even though he's wearing suits, he, you know. You know easy, life is not easy. I tell you, it's not easy. Man must work. <laughs> now, I love people who watch Dr. Damage's show. I love them, but, but not those who take it too far. For example, Senator Shehu Sani, you know him. The, yeah. the man from Kaduna said, yeah, the, no, <laughs> yeah, the man from Kaduna said, he has been locked in a long fight with Kaduna State Governor, El Rufai, mm. over who cares more about market women in Kaduna. No, wow. You know, one we give donkey, the other one we give goats, you know, they are just, you know, fighting. No, so last week, he was suspended by his political party, the APC. Why? Suspended indefinitely, we don't know why. <laughs> we think he's part of this fight. Yeah, now, guess what he did? He attacked Governor El Rufai. Why? No, he attacked him. It would have been okay if he had slapped the governor. Mm. Because the governor slaps people. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, he, he does, he does. We see, you hear that all the time. But Sheikh Hussani went below the belt. Mm. He appropriated. Now, now, when we use the word appropriated, it's just a fancy way to say he stole something. But anyway, he appropriated Dr. Damage's punchline. What? When he said that the governor, mm. he said, this is what he said to the governor. My suspension won't increase your physical height. I said, no way. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I, 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 look, at, look at my friend Shehu. Look at you, you, you are watching too much, Dr. Damage's show. Coming from your mouth, that thing wasn't funny at all. You shortchanged your affroputation, thinking that you were shortchanging Aerofy. Sasha, can you tweet that out? You don't, you don't hear this on Keeping It Real. You should change your affroputation, thinking that you we are shortchanging Aerofy. In case, <laughs> in case you have forgotten, I am a clown, and you are a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Remember, remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Can you send that out? <laughs> now, now, an update on a story I told you a few weeks ago. Professor Wole Shoyinka has kept his word. Really? Oh, yeah. He has cut up his green card. What? Uh -uh. Uh, no? No, wait, wait, wait. No? Oh, he has shredded his... Sure? Shredded his... That's no? That's not true. No. Uh -uh. Uh, he threw it away. Oh, he, he, he threw it away. He away. He, no, 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 no. We, no, 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 no. No wonder, no wonder. My crack reporters noticed some activities in a bush in Ogun State. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Ogun State. It just happened that... People, <laughs> I guess what was going on there is that people were searching for the green card that he threw away. Uh -uh. Oh yeah, it, it, I'm not making it up. Look at them. The shrine is located at Mosarajo village of Ileife Ifewara Road. It was well built to include dungeons and other operational rooms. Really? Yeah. Wow. These people wow. rushed to find Wole Shoyinka's green card. Wow. Now, now, you may think that Shoyinka is so unique that even if they get it, that they cannot pretend to be him and come into America. <laughs> think again, think again. Here are people who can easily fool security men at JFK with Shoinka's green card. Look at them. Uh -huh. yeah. Wow. 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 Uh, Isn't that wonderful? No, it's not. Wow. <laughs> now, this is segment we call Secrets of... It's based on a premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. Words. Now, the first picture you're looking at is not that of a young Atari Dokubo. It may look like it, but it's not. <laughs> no, no, this is not Nollywood film about his life. No. no, this is a real picture. This is a picture showing a clear manifestation of that quote that says, some people are born great, mm -hmm. some achieve greatness, mm -hmm. and some have greatness bestowed upon them. Yeah. Which one do you belong to? Look at the boy. He, ha he has greatness bestowed on him. Yeah. Mm. Ah, I wish I'm like him. <laughs> the next picture you're looking at is that of former Nigerian uh, vice president, Atiku Abubakar. Yeah. He turned 70, so he was cutting his birthday cake. Did you see that? See his cutting scale. Mm. 
God. After years of cutting our national cake, he has become a master. Cut master. Why not? Look at very perfect, perfect cut. Picture makes perfect. No, <laughs> practice makes perfect. Yeah. He's been cutting our cake for so long and putting it in his pocket. Yeah. Now, yeah. now yeah. any cake you give him, you know, he knows how to do it. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Anyway, the next picture you're looking at is that of Senate President Bukola Saraki giving Senator Dino Malaya the award of the Senator of the Year. Oh. I will now pause for you to come up with your own joke. No, 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 you can't come up with your own joke. You know, it's like Magic Fashek giving someone an award for having the best uh, teeth. Yeah. It's, no, no, okay, it's like OJ Simpson giving you an award for being the best uh, footballer <laughs> in America. It's, it's like, come up, give me, help me. It's like, oh, Kosio uh, Jacob. Ah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> because I have to talk about milk. You know, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian news so far this week. $4.7 billion naira. Obanikoro returns $134 million to EFCC and says that he will repay. 450 million in 2017. Whoa. This is Punch wow. newspaper. He said he refunded this and said he will refund the rest in 2017. Wow. Now, 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 no, no, no. He did not put the stolen money in MMM. No, no, that's not what happened. Sure? I'm sure. Oh, no, sure. Oh, he did not put it there. My guess is that the money that he buried in the soccer ways hey. will mature in 2017. Criminal. That's when he will bring it out and, and clean it and then yeah. <laughs> give it to EFCC. <laughs> There's an embargo, he can't open the soccer way now, you know. <laughs> Fuel subsidy stoppage saves federal government $15.4 billion. Dollars. Billion dollars. Oh. Says Kachuku Ibe Kachuku. So what are they doing with the money? This, 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 these people are confusing me. Yeah. They save here, they save here, they save here, yet they are borrowing, they are borrowing, they are borrowing. Exactly. I, are you not confused? Yeah. Are you not confused? Yeah. Where, are, where are the money going? $15.4 billion dollars saved, wow. and they want to borrow $30 billion. What is going on? Makes no sense. Ah, it's terrible. Hey. 300 million mansion for Oshomole and his deputy. What? Plus 100% salary for life. This is what they're getting as a retirement package. What? 300 million naira and 100% of their pay for life. For life. So, uh, hey. <laughs> now listen, listen. When, when he was a comrade, he will have said to Fiakwa to such waste of state resources. Yeah. He will have said to Fiakwa. <laughs> but the moment you marry a high maintenance woman. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, don't, don't blame the woman. Don't blame the woman. Don't blame the woman. Don't blame. The, I, I, was I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. The man was fake all along. It's just that we're seeing it now. He was yeah. fake all along. <laughs> Atiku's wife. Titi, you know, you know Titi? Yeah. Yeah. Fine, fine woman. Was defrauded of 90, no, what am I saying? 908, what? 908 million naira. Uh, what? By a pastor. <laughs> yeah. By a pastor. Yeah. Now, 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 these thieves have no respect at all. They don't have any respect. How do you defraud? Do they, they know? They don't, they don't even know that she is one of our first ladies in wedding. Yeah. I think we have so many wives. So whenever he becomes a president of Nigeria. Eh? <laughs> he, he, we have to choose, you know. There, there's like five of them. You, you, you. Okay, today you are first lady. <laughs> <laughs> For next month, you are going to be Titi. Huh? How could they do this to they Titi? Eh? No fear. <laughs> <laughs> if he's coming to America, he can't come to, with Jennifer, you know, because Jennifer is not allowed in America. <laughs> Titi is allowed. Titi is allowed, so Titi will come. <laughs> this is how, you know, this is how life should be. Yeah, I, yeah my man, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Fanny Kayode blast Jimo Ibrahim. Calls him the biggest Judas. No, I'm not the one saying this. This is in Vanguard. He called the man the biggest Judas. Wow. Now, the election may be over in, uh, in uh, Understead, mm -hmm. but the battle of the mad dogs is just beginning. Yeah. It's just, just watch out. Yeah. <laughs> Prostitutes have taken over my community. Abuja chief laments. Uh, yeah. yeah. The man is crying. I said, report them to lawmakers. <laughs> Oh, 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 no, 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 never mind, never mind. <laughs> never mind, they are the Jones. They are the people paying the process. For, forget that I said that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Ignore rumors. Tinubu is a priceless asset.
asset to APC, says Buhari. Mm. <laughs> this, this, this is Buhari's self. Eh? Go ahead, tell us to ignore the air. You know, ignore air. How do you expect social media to work without rumors? How are we going to live? Ignore rumors. Eh, eh, nonsense. <laughs> now, this is, this is very important to me. This one is very important to me. Kosi Ojakonik's breast reduction, says Kemi Olun lawyer. Do, do you know who, do you know that Kemi? People have been telling me there's something wrong with her. Eh? I'm finally in agreement with all of you. We need an emergency meeting for this Kemi who has been ravaging our values. How can, can you imagine her saying something like that? We need an, all men, we're having an emergency meeting for this Kemi. How could she? Nonsense. <laughs> Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes, and I always got hand-me-downs. Now, she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better. <laughs> it's time for your email. Our oh, automated just it's nice to see you in your uniform, you know? Thanks. Yeah, it works for people because this is a serious business that we're operating here. <laughs> Don't expect our patients to see you in street clothes. Street clothes. Yeah. Uh, anyway, okay. do we have emails I'll, today? I'll just keep short. Okay. Anyway, our first email is from David. He David, oh, wait, wait, David, is, that's the, my friend, yeah? Your friend? Yeah. I don't know him, but... Yeah, that's know. my friend, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what does he want? He work? writes, yes, Hey, David. Dr. Damages, you have said several times something like Dangote buying the whole country in Nigeria. I said it. A cleric has re-seen your vision that you saw. Uh -uh. The time has come for this to be true. What? Dangote may be the first African billionaire president in Africa in 2019. Keep seeing your visions. Wow. Thank you, David. You know, I didn't <laughs> know. These pastors are watching too much Dr. Damages. Mm -hmm. They're watching too much show. No. Mm -hmm. Dangote cannot be president of Nigeria for one <laughs> simple reason. No, Why? listen to me now. Listen, Why? one reason. He does not know how to take criticism. Ah. Have you seen a cartoon of Dangote in any newspaper in Nigeria? Have you seen that? No? No. no. I rest my case. In this day and age, you must enjoy being abused before you start dreaming of being president. Mm. Oh yeah, look at Jonathan, look at Buhari. Eh. Dangote cannot take that hit. No, he can't mm -hmm. be. Next. But Yaya Jame just left, so anything is possible. Anything is possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you're right. You're right. Leave the man. Is any former president sell rice? Everything. I mean, okay. what will happen, let me, let me explain this. What okay. will happen in 2019 is that when you wake up, I said it before, you bow down to Dangote before eh? you go and do your business of the day. Mm. That's what will happen. By then, he bought everything in Nigeria. We shall yeah. see. Next. <laughs> Our second email is from Prince A.G. Prince, yes, Prince A.G. Yeah, yeah, my mm -hmm. Prince, yeah, yeah. He writes, yeah. Good day, my manest man, Dr. Damage. Of course, it's, it's, it's my man. friend, it's my friend. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still me, Prince A.G. I know. Underscore. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have to put that underscore, otherwise email will, eh? email will not email go through. Hashtag mm, Prince hashtag. underscore A.G. Of course. Remember when we was in the same school, hashtag Buhari, uh -huh. in those days? In those, yeah, those mm -hmm. days. <laughs> he said, I won't forget my mm, Adiola. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said, you both are making my day over here always. No, Thank wow. you, man. Hashtag Tomato Joss. Uh -oh. It won't be bad. If I get to see you over here in Malaysia what? someday from now, what? Please, Malaysia. Yeah. Huh? Wow. Please, Doctor Damages, look into our issue over here in Malaysia. What's going we on? We need a voice on how Nigerians are being treated. Oh. Most of the time. Oh, huh? oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank, thank you, you, thank you, Prince. Thank you so much for this email. I have seen several videos of how Nigerians were being it's treated in Malaysia. Good. It's not good, you know. Since the Nigerian, no, no, the real Nigerians who hard working. Mm. The way they treat them. Since Nigerian government officials are incapable of helping, hmm. I think you Nigerians must come together to design a plan. Yeah. And I, I'll suggest something, what they call charm offensive. Hmm. You have to infiltrate their society by hmm. being good. 
Mm. Support their political parties. If possible, yeah. give a good Nigerian, get, get one to run for office. Eh? Bit by bit, you break their resistance. That's, mm. that's what black people did in America yeah. until, yeah. until Trump came and <laughs> everything, went, everything went back to the way it was in the 50s. <laughs> Next. Our third email is from Ade Igbai. Dr. Damages, I'm one of your regulars. Since the inception of your show, oh, wow. we like people like this. you've been doing a fantastic ah. job. Glorious. And my week is not the same if I don't watch your show. Thank you, my man. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm, thank Wait you. for it. Yeah. Um, but right now, ah. you know when the bot comes in, that's... <laughs> Anything before you bot saw your face? is bullshit. But, but not this time. But right now, yes, let's I'm deeply him. upset. Ah. That you did not report your last week's interview with President-elect hey. Trump at the Trump Tower. Hey. The Sahara Crack reporters reported that you are being vetted for the position of Surgeon Alloy General. Alloy me. I would like to hear this news hey. from the horse's mouth. <coughs> Lastly, hey. what role will Sweet Tomato play in the dispensation? Huh. Dispensation. Ade, 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 Ade. That was top secret nah. news. Eh? Uh, Why yeah, must yeah. you expose it before oh, the official man. announcement? Now <laughs> Donald Trump <laughs> Donald Trump will change his mind. You keep finish me, Ade. Trump, huh? will Trump will now tweet out that it's over. That, that means Ade. less money. This for was us. something that should ah. have been a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Ade. You destroyed me. Yeah. Lock him up. <laughs> Lock, him up. <laughs> <laughs> Lock him up. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for emails. Mm -hmm. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages and on Instagram at Dr. Damages. Now, here's my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book African Proverbs for Hillary Clinton supporters. Hmm. And it says, if people come together, they can even mend a crack in the sky. Wow! What? Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. The wow. if, the if people come together, they can mend a crack in the sky. Wow. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. <laughs> so, tomato <laughs> just is there any crack uh, in your sky? Because because we can come together and mend it. Crack. crack. <laughs> Is there any crack in your sky? <laughs> there, there, I have cracks. You have cracks. I have cracks, but you don't have the kind of glue that I need to mend it. I'll go to Halloween and bring crack for you. I'll just take my leave now. I don't have a crack. Tomato, she started a, a personality page on Facebook. What, what is it called? What is it called? Personality or uh, what do you call it? Media, media, what? Next time, next time, next time. Go and like it. That's where you see pictures you can't see on this show. She, 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 every evening, every weekend, she will shoot one picture that. Don't make, make sure your kids are not with you when you go there because, I mean, you don't, you don't want. <laughs> what is the name of that page? Tomato Just. Search for it. It's amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, I'm begging you. Can you go and watch more? They, they asked me to do this, otherwise there won't be, you know, things are hard. Watch, watch more. I, in fact, there's somewhere I'm cooking a goose. Subscribe, also subscribe to the Sahara YouTube account. What is the name of the account again? Anyway, subscribe, whatever they say, subscribe, click on it. Please. <laughs> for me, for me. Nice. Thank you. <laughs>